Hi, so today's video is more of a casual video, more of a heart-to-heart -heart about um, something I've been healing the last few months and I felt it was very important to share. So um, in a way it might seem irrelevant to the Twin Flame journey, but um, it's actually a huge part of it. I've talked about this before, about how the Twin Flame journey is an ascension journey. So that means heaven on earth. And heaven on earth doesn't mean that you know, you get into a situation that's slightly better than the one you were before, right? It's not about um, a slightly better version of hell. It's about perfection and it's about heaven. And a big part of it has to do with relationships. So, of course, your relationship with your twin flame is the number one. Like, well, not number one. Number one is with God, but <laughs> like number one in terms of like with people other than God and yourself, right? Because like the most important relationship is first God, then you, then your twin flame, then everybody else. So yeah, like the most important relationship you can have with another person. And this extends also to your relationships with other people, uh, your community, your friends, who you're surrounded by. And what I've been healing is a very heavy pattern that I've had since forever, pretty much. And it had to do with um, accepting some treatment that really isn't aligned with being divine, being a divine being, which everybody is, right? But um, in that way, I was not seeing my own divinity, which um, it's a big no-no on this journey. Sooner or later, you'll have to see your own divinity and accept it and embody it because that's the only way forward. This is an ascension journey. So, yeah, there are some sneakier ways in which there's like, um, we allow people to walk all over us and be emotionally abusive as, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure from the title of this video, you can tell what this is about. So, and I'm not talking about the very in-your-face ways, some, but they can be emotionally abusive, but also the sneaker ones. Like, for example, not being taken seriously when you put up a boundary, that's a big one. Like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You're overreacting when you're expressing that something is not okay. Or, you know, downright gaslighting. Like, okay, it didn't happen this way. <laughs> you remember it wrong, even though you know that something fishy is going on. And yeah, like being disrespected in like tiny ways that you didn't expect. And you're like, okay, yeah, is it worth like pointing this out? And yeah, like being consistently being taken taken from. Um, and the other person is not, like it's not an honest mistake from one point forward. The other person is intentional about it. And of course, I'm not going to name names or anything because I don't care about drama or calling anybody out specifically <laughs> because that's over for me. But yeah, um, I also wanted to share about how like beautiful it was that my twin flame helped me come to this realization about revealing yet another person as having this pattern and i could feel this for at least a few months now that something was off about this person and their relationship and i couldn't tell exactly what but um yeah it's like i was doing this to myself in a sense as well right because um i was accepting it in my reality like oh maybe it's not as i remember it or Maybe I'm being too much here, but um, yeah, as I was sharing with my twin flame these experiences I had with this person, it became even clearer that yeah, I'm sweeping a lot of things under the rug here and um, I'm not giving myself enough credit. And I'm really not calling out these behavior patterns because um, that's not something we're taught, right? We're not taught to call out those things. We're always taught to, you know, keep the peace and, <laughs> you know, not argue too much or over, you know, the small things. But after a while, it becomes so obvious that um, this is intentional. It's not just a mistake on the other person's part. So yeah, it was really cool to see how my twin flame just had to be present. He didn't really say much about it. He recognized that a lot of those things were really fucked up, but um, he didn't really say much. He was being really present with me as I was sharing. And yeah, that was really upsetting though, because in a sense it was like, yeah, acknowledge what happened, but um, I'm not giving like <laughs> some kind of response here. So yeah, that gave me a lot of insights about how I was allowing those things to happen in my reality. So um, 
Another thing that I've been revisiting a lot is um, Twin Flames Universe's uh, new free e-course, the introductory Twin Flame Ascension e-course. And the third lesson is all about boundaries and um, places where you're saying yes when you feel like you should be saying no, like putting a boundary there and vice versa, like saying no to things that feel good, but you know, there is a fear and you don't want to accept more of that. So in every no, there is a yes and vice versa. So by accepting this sort of manipulative behavior, like this emotionally abusive behavior, I'm not allowing myself to receive divine relationships, right? Because um, I have all this space in my life that's being filled up by all this bullshit, <laughs> right? So yeah, so it doesn't really serve me. So I feel very happy today because um, I worked through the final layer of it, like the core of it, it feels like so light now and a lot of relief even though there was a lot of heaviness attached to it that I had to be releasing and like I have a lot of support in working through this right and it can sound scary like working through patterns of emotional abuse in your life but it actually wasn't that scary <laughs> to be honest I've faced way worse on this journey because it's an ascension journey so at this point, my faith in my creator is really strong and I can tell that, hey, that's just another breakthrough. That's fine. Uh, it's just me letting go of the old in order to allow a new loving relationships in, right? So, but I have to let go of the old first. I can't hold on to it and expect the new to come in. Well, that was exactly what I channeled yesterday in a reading I posted on Facebook. Anyway, <laughs> it's really cool. Anyway, and the thing is, um, yeah, like... I did a few rounds of the mirror exercise, listened to music, I pulled some cards, I was present with God and yeah, I could really feel the relief here and um, the heaviness started to go away and finally it was like, okay, that's complete, that's done. Uh, I'm very clear about my choice now and I can already feel like the healing settling and um, the new energy coming in, which is really good because um, I've been carrying this heaviness for a few months now because I had a lot of resistance to facing this thing because it's like, okay, I consider this person to be my friend for a few years now. So yeah, like, it's really weird, <laughs> right? To have to assess every relationship, but um, it's important to be present with what its person is showing you. And like, I have nothing but compassion for those people because it's clear that um, they're not having a lot of fun here, <laughs> right? There's a lot of suffering um, in you in order to act this way. But it's still not acceptable and it's still not something I will allow in my reality. So yeah, it's time to say goodbye, right? But um, yeah, it feels very good to share that because um, yeah, like sharing is completing your healing. So completing it right now by sharing this with you, this insight and um, yeah, that it's really safe to go there, even if it's something that's very unpleasant or something that you really don't want to face. Eventually you'll have to move through this even the darkest corners of your consciousness because your twin flame journey is not um, just about holding hands with your twin flame and um, being lovey-dovey. <laughs> That's a big part of it. And um, yeah, of course it's going to happen, but first you need to lay the foundation. And yeah, even this thing that I healed in my friendships, it is going to reflect in my union. I'm totally sure about it, right? Um, I can feel my twin is already appealing to be honest, even though I was doing all the inner work. <laughs> because um, yeah, I can definitely feel that. But yeah, it's um, a big shift in energy. And of course it's going to transform a lot of things and I'm very excited about that. So yeah, it's absolutely safe. And if there's something about your reality that you don't like and whether it is a similar pattern of like being around people that are very disrespectful or emotionally abusive or something else, then yeah, you have to power the power to change it. And it's safe to, um, Accept the responsibility for your own actions and feelings, not anybody else's, that's their thing. But yeah, it's safe to be like, okay, yeah, I accepted this, but no longer, <laughs> right? Because um, you have the power to say no to it. And um, as soon as you're aware of it, it's safe to say no to it. And yeah, you really don't um, lose something by saying no to these types of energies. They're actually holding you back. And why would you want that, right? Uh, building heaven on earth is more important than holding on to people that um, at the end of the day don't really love you at the core or aren't interested in seeing you as the divine being that you are. 
So yeah, that was about it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>